Hello and welcome to the Naked Expat channel. Today I'm going to be talking about how to change the DNS settings if you are a Converge internet subscriber. And in a previous article, I, I already explained why the, the importance is of doing that. Now, some people have asked me for an actual video walkthrough of, of what to do, which is what this video is all about. So without further ado, you'll see on the screen here, there's my website, Naked Expat. And if you, if you search in the search bar area for DNS, um, I've already written a blog article about how to change the DNS servers with Converge. Well, that's all very well if you're relatively te technically savvy, but this walkthrough is to show you in actual terms what to do. So I'll bring up another screen here in uh, Safari, which is there, and we'll share this so that we've got both op options open. So in my blog, blog article, I talk about how we change the DNS servers, which are inside the white Ware box with the aerials that produce your Wi-Fi signal in your home. It's important that you do change your DNS servers, because as I said in this article and my previous YouTube vlog, if you don't, Converge have the ability to not only monitor all of your website traffic, deny you access to websites that they think are unsuitable, um, note what they think is unsuitable, um, you may not, and also they are able to view all of your website traffic, so which websites you visit, the time of day that you visit, etc. Um, generally, that could be used for marketing purposes. Um, whether they do or not, we simply do not know. However, by changing your DNS servers to independent ones, you take Converge out of the equation. And most internet savvy people, tech savvy people, automatically when they get an internet connection set up, will change their DNS servers to independent ones provided by companies such as Cloudflare, OpenDNS, and Google. Google have their own DNS servers. Some people still don't trust Google because they think Google has too much information on them already. Certainly if you use Google Maps, it knows where you are, what time of day you are, the places that you visited, etc. However, when you're surfing on the internet, it is important that you change your DNS servers to stop that nonsense as best you can at the root of it. So how do you go about doing it? Well, when you're supplied a Wi-Fi connection with Converge, you're given a Wi-Fi router, which is the white box. On the back of that, you'll see here, I've taken a picture of mine. I've grayed out the serial number because obviously that's specific just to this box. Uh, on the back of the Wi-Fi router, at the bottom of the Wi-Fi router, is a silver sticker. And this, what you should be looking for, is the username and password, root and admin, uh, and the IP address. That's a, an IP address is like netflix.com, google.com, but instead of it being letters, it's just purely numerical digits. And that is the address that you put in the bar, the search bar, and you're logging into your Wi-Fi router. Now, uh, in order to talk to your white box and change the settings internally. So here's we go about doing it. In Safari or Chrome or whatever browser you're using, put in the actual address of this number here. In my instance, it's 192.168.100.1. That's a very common address for Huawei routers. Yours may well be the same, or it could be different. But whatever it is, stick it in there and press enter. Now, you're brought in with a login panel here for the username and password. And it's the one that's supplied on the sticky silver label on the bottom of your router. The username is root, and in my instance, the password is admin in lowercase and hw. That gives you standard login. So we're gonna do that now because you'll then see what happens when you log in as a standard user. So admin and it's capital hw, and we log in. Now, Bingo, we are now talking to the internals of my white router. And you'll be talking to your router, your white box. Now, generally speaking, if I move myself over here for the time being, um, generally speaking, when you log in here, there's 
uh, the super admin setup, which I'll talk about in a moment. When you log in, you are, you, you are given a few options. If you click on Wi-Fi configuration, that's where you can name. As you can see, my Wi-Fi name is called Spudnik because my dog's called Spud. And Sputnik was obviously the first little satellite that the Russians put up in space and went around the globe going beep, beep, beep. And uh, I just thought it was a play on name. So instead of Sputnik, it's Spudnik. Um, and I changed the Wi-Fi passwords for both the 2.4G and 5G, and they're both the same. Now, a little tip here, if you've got uh, visitors, kids, or Yaya made, uh, and you don't want them to use your more efficient 5G network, you can have a different password to the 4G network and just give them the 4G um, network password, and they can log into 4G whilst you enjoy 5G yourself. Um, that's just a little tip. Now, that's how you go about changing your Wi-Fi username and password, and that's standard. Everybody can do that when they log in, but what we want to do is change the DNS settings. So DNS settings can be found in the advanced tab, and then you go down to LAN, and then DHCP server. When you click on that, you'll see primary and secondary DNS. Now, in most instances, because I've changed mine already, yours will be blank, but as you can see here, I can click on them, but I can't change them. It, it, it's, it's useless, you know, it, you, you, you can't, you, 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 can't, you can't do anything. I'm touching there to try and change. Yours will probably just be gray with nothing in it, and you can't, you can't do anything about that. That's because you've logged into your white box, your router, with the standard username and password. What we're now gonna do is log in with what's known as super admin. Now, what that enables you to do is have access, surprise, surprise, to the advanced settings. Now, going back to my website article here, you will find two options. And generally, 99% of the time, these will work. The first option is a username of teleco, sorry, telecom admin and a password. Be careful to make sure you use a capital C, converge at warre123 is the password. And then you log in and you should be able to access your router. If that doesn't work and it comes up username or password incorrect, chances are, as is the case for myself, you try telecom admin as the username and admin telecom as the password. Now we're gonna go ahead and do that right now. So we use admin, sorry, beg your pardon, we use telecom admin as the username and admin telecom as the password. Now, when you're logged in, you see exactly the same as you saw before, logging in as normal. You see your Wi-Fi configuration where you can change your Wi-Fi name and the password, and you also have access to the advanced settings. However, you, as you know previously, you couldn't change them. Well, now you can, because we go into LAN, we go into DHCP server, and surprise, surprise, you can change them now. And if yours are blank, this is what you're gonna do. You're gonna go into a, a, a separate web browser, like for example, Chrome, um, or you can just go into another tab if you, you, you don't want to split screen. And you type in open DNS IP because you want the IP settings. And so there we go, setup guide for open DNS. Here it is here. I'll just move myself over there. And there's the name servers. You've got primary name server and secondary name server. And that's all you need. All you do is you copy that and you paste it over there into primary, as you can see, it's already in there. And then you do the same for secondary, you copy that and you paste it into there as the secondary. Now, what you then do is you press apply and it saves your settings, but you're not finished yet because what you now need to do is you need to log out on the back of your Wi-Fi router, there's a power button. What you need to do, and you do this if you change your Wi-Fi username, password, etc. You turn the power off, you wait 30 seconds, and then you turn the power back on again. 
and that reboots your router and the new settings take effect. It is important that you do that, otherwise the new settings won't take effect. Uh, you, or you could wait until you get a brownout and then it's going to reboot itself anyway. I hope you found this walkthrough about changing your Converge DNS settings helpful. Enjoy.